Hey folks, welcome back. So I know we got one more menu to work on for our uh, status menu stuff, the skill tree. That one's going to be a fairly long one, so I thought we'd do something a little bit more fun to warm up to it. And absolutely not being inspired by Fallout 4 at all. <laughs> uh, I really like their fast travel system, so I thought we could set up something similar. So we'll be able to open a menu click a button and it'll take you to where you ever you put these portals at so be able to teleport here oh crap yeah they're too close we'll make it to where if they're too close you can't teleport and you can set them up however you want it's a pretty easy system so we'll just jump straight into it back over here this is the series we've been doing together. So in our blueprints folder, first thing I want to do is right click and create a new folder called Fast Travel. Double click, open that up, right click, create a blueprint class of an actor and call it town portal underscore BP. We'll have more, we're just going to use this one as a base and then duplicate it. So I'll double click to open that up and add a component of a static mesh. And the mesh I want to use, personally, is one I found that looks decent, is the Cave Pedestal. It comes with the Infinity Blade Asset Packs. The only thing I don't like about it is the sand, but I'm going to change that to a stone floor. So that looks nice. I'm going to change its scale to about, f oh no, not 5, 0.5. 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and then set its location up about 10, just so it's stick, maybe 20, just to make sure it's sticking above the ground. You want it sitting above this uh, grid looking thing, doesn't have to be much, just enough, 30 is too much, 25 works. Okay, so... Next thing we will do is add a sphere collision called player detector. And this will be used next time on the uh, oh, the urge to say next time on Dragon Ball Z was intense. But it'll be we'll detach it from our mesh. Used to say our character's been here, they can fast travel here now. So in its event graph, we'll delete this, and on begin play, we will cast to player blueprint, or whatever your player blueprint is called, get character, and promote that to a variable called player ref, and that's all we gotta do in this for now. So we'll minimize that, we'll open our player blueprint, create a variable called not teleport fast travel target basically teleport but all right so we want to create act we want to get object type actor and make an object reference then we will create a custom event not a fustum that's not a thing i don't think and call it fast travel. So we'll add one more variable and call it enemies in range. That'll be set up in the next video, but we'll go ahead and have it in place. So we just have to do a little bit of functionality to tweak it. So we'll add a branch, drag out our enemies in range, and find out if it's equal to not that. If it's equal to zero. If false, then we will print string that says can't fast travel enemies to close. But if it's true, then we want to stop our character's movement. And disable our character's input so that they can't just start running otherwise they could get locked in as the screen's fading out they'll just be running 
and then when they spawn in they're running still so you don't want that we'll get player controller and set it right about here we'll set show mouse cursor that's also a little preemptive work because we're gonna have it active in a minute then we will above that get player camera manager start camera fade hook that up we want to fade from alpha 0 to alpha 1 basically it'll take it from non-existent to existent which is what we want so set the duration to 1 and it should hold when finished now we'll add a delay after that for 1 second so that this finishes before it does what we're about to do get all actors with tag and the tag we want we haven't set up yet so in our town portal you want to click the town portal self in the details type tag and then type in fast travel this will let our search right now pick up everything that has that tag instead of just one particular actor at a time so we will drag off this and do a for each loop from the array element we want to find out if it is equal to an object the object being our fast travel target because since we're gonna have multiple uh, we don't want it pulling all the locations and trying to zip us around to all of them we just want to find the one that is equal to our fast travel target then we'll do a branch and hook that nope hook that up and on true we want to get the actor location for our fast travel target right click set actor location leave it to self we want to set our oh no disconnect that we're going to back this, move this away a little bit because we want to do a get actor location vector plus vector add 90 on the z axis just because sometimes if you don't have that the character will warp into the ground and I don't like that so I just move them up and that way it, it works pretty good so now we'll do a delay of about half a second just to make sure they're fully in place before we come back here and grab our camera fade and the camera manager control C to copy that and paste it out right after hook that to there we want to set the from alpha to 1 since it's full and set it back to 0 over the course of one second it should still hold when finished we'll add a delay of about one second because you want it to match the duration then we will right click get player controller set input mode game only and enable input I want to make sure that this is going to that you can just connect to that because you want to set our blueprint back to able to move okie doke Now we need to create our HUD. So in our HUD elements, I'm going to right click and create one more user interface widget called a fast travel menu. I'm going to double click and open that up. And I'm just going to add out a button, scale it to the size I need, add a text block to it. This first one I'm going to call town. And then I'll right click duplicate drag it down and see I'm gonna have four in mind so the next one will be observatory duplicate one more time this one will be called hut and duplicate one more time for the ocean then I'm gonna drag out one more button and that's all well and good. Unclicked for that last one. We'll just set it up to be remove from parent. 
get player controller set input mode back to game only and set show mouse cursor to false good deal while we're in the event graph we want to delete the event pre-construct and the tick and on event construct we want to cast to player blueprint get character promote to a variable called player ref and that'll make our next portion just so much easier back in our player blueprint I want to add an event for on the F key because this will be my fast travel menu I'm going to right click is valid with the question mark so on press we want to find out if the thing we're about to create is valid because if it is we don't want to create it multiple multiple times so if it is not valid create widget get player controller for the owning player and the class will be our fast travel menu we will promote that to a variable called fast travel menu and then add to viewport we'll scale we'll drag this one up a little bit so that we can hook the is valid straight to it then we'll get player controller set input mode UI only in widget to focus will be our fast travel menu and we'll set show mouse cursor this time we want to set it to true compile that now in our fast travel menu again we'll go to our designer no 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 we need to go to our fast travel folder and then duplicate this one call it observatory underscore VP duplicate again hut underscore VP duplicate one more time ocean underscore VP and I'm gonna just drag those around and set them in place so the town portal I want about here the hut the hut's gonna sit up here so its portal can be right there I guess the observatory is going to be up here so its portal can be right here and the ocean of course by the ocean uh, of course with yours you can sculpt out your landscape a little bit more and make it you know better this is going to work for now so in here we want to select our town button scroll down to its on clicked get actor of class the class we want to get is the town portal because we're only going to have one we don't have to do it for each loop we'll drag out our player reference set fast travel target I keep wanting to do teleport and we will set our actor to our fast travel target and then call our fast travel custom event so now what we can do is just control C go to our observatory button scroll down on clicked control V paste it in and then just change it to observatory same thing with the rest of them you just scroll down to their on clicked event add one control V hook it up change the actor of class to the new portal lather rinse repeat so on clicked for the ocean and we'll change that one to ocean so now let's test it all out real quick so I can open my menu now close it back out and I can now fast 
travel where I need to go. One thing we want to do, we want to change one more thing in our player blueprint right at the start of our fast travel event, if they're traveling. We want to drag out our fast travel menu is valid and if they are starting to fast travel and this is valid then we want to remove from parent if it is not valid then we still just want to go ahead and teleport so now let's test it out So now you can fast travel. Sweet. And the next one we'll start, uh, we'll put in place the things to make sure that you've found the portal first and that there are no enemies nearby. But so far, that's it for this one, so thanks for stopping by.